What's going on everyone? This is Raheel and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be looking at my top Linux and Mac terminal keyboard shortcuts that can make you a master at navigating the terminal. Let's get straight into the video. The first keyboard shortcut goes into the completion aspect of the terminal. So let's say you're trying to uh, complete a command and um, the terminal actually knows which commands are valid. That's why you can see that I actually have this ZSH plugin that verifies whether that command is valid by putting a little green, otherwise it's red. But if you don't want to have that plugin and you don't exactly remember the name, you can just do tab and it will auto complete that plugin for you. And this also works for a file path. So like if I want to complete YouTube, that's one of my file paths. And then I can do into Python tutorials or whatever, right? It'll just tab auto complete, which is really useful. So to demonstrate this next one, I'm just going to go into a test Python file. Awesome. And I'm just going to run this file test.py. And there you go, now it's running a while loop. But if you want to exile this while loop, while loop, we just do control C. That just means stop the running program. That's a really simple command just to exit out. You don't have to write any other commands for that. But other commands like exiting out of the application can actually um, be a bit more useful as well. You can't control C out of Python, right? Because that is the keyboard interrupts that we just provided. You have to do control D to exit out of that. I believe that's gonna be the same thing for Node as well and a few other applications in the terminal, but that's just something to keep aware of. Next, we have other navigation shortcuts in the terminal, such as when you type out a command, I'll just type in sudo apt install, and then whatever this library is. And I want to go to the very beginning of the line. I just do control A. That brings me to the beginning of the line, very similar to uh, Vim, because that is shift A to actually go to the beginning of the line. And then if I want to go to the end of the line, that would be control E. Now let's say you forgot the what the last command was. You can just do control P to go previous or control N to go the next one. So I just control P up, it'll actually wind through the command history. Now the common other way of doing this is actually using your arrow keys. And you could go up and down, that's one thing, right? But of course, if you're already using control, then you might as well, right? Now what happens if you want your terminal to be a little cleaner when you show it to your friends? They probably don't want to see a whole bunch of other things. Now your whole terminal is filled up. To clear it out, usually you just do clear, but the shortcut for that is control L and you can see it just does the same thing. So I'll just do sudo again, whatever. And then your whole terminal is filled up. I just do control L and that clears it all up. That's very nice. It actually only clears up what's um, on the screen too, because you can see when I scroll up, then actually all the rest of it is still there. Um, but that's just one thing to keep a note of. It just makes sure that your terminal is presented clearly, but none of your actual history is gone. Now, what if you accidentally wrote in the wrong command and you don't want to press enter was just to make a, some sort of spelling mistake. I realized I was doing something bad. I just do control U. I just, that's sort of like an undo sort of method, just deletes everything from the cursor to the beginning of the line. And therefore you can just start over. So in windows, we do control delete to delete one word. Usually it doesn't work in the terminal. And in Mac, we do option delete. If you want to do the same thing here, or delete the word, so I'll just write in the same command, let's use this weird command, uh, you can actually just do control word, or control W. And what that does, it just deletes every word. And it's just deleting in these skips to figure out what words are, and it does a pretty good job of that too. It's like little increments, so you don't actually have to hold the backspace key either. And the last one is gonna be like a fuzzy finder for your terminal commands. If you're not familiar with what a fuzzy finder is, all it is is it finds your files based on some keywords you type in and identifies them, and then you could choose for which ones you'd like to use. We could also identify it from the end of words. So if you do control R, then it brings up this BCKI search, which all you have to know means uh, command search. And if I just type in like sudo or something, you see it brings up the last command that I was using, like xargs, right? It does that too. And of course, to exit that, you can just do control C. If you do control C while you're in the normal terminal, nothing will happen. It just sends control C to the terminal. If you do control D, it will actually exit you from the terminal because the terminal itself is an application. So that is all the terminal commands that I have for you today. If you did find any of these useful, be sure, be sure to drop a like down below and make sure to put more commands down below that I may have missed that are a little bit useful and I can make my workflow and other people's workflows a little more efficient. If you're not subscribed yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I make tons of videos like these, as well as other programming and computer science related videos. Otherwise, that's all for me. I hope you have a great rest of your day.